Okay, on the left side of the screen we have our inputs and we're, we're going to talk now about the general tab and primarily talk about the basic wind inputs which are these uh, green fields here. We'll start with the wind standard. You can select the wind standard that you want to use. The um, standard that is selected will be green, this pale green, um, and the blue are, are those that you can select. Um, so we've got the ASC 705 through 722, and then the Florida Building Code 2017 and 2020, which are available only to pro users. So we're going to stick with 716. Um, and then the next step is the, the wind speed. Okay, so the wind speed, could be, you could get it a variety of ways. Maybe you just know what it is for your location based on the local building codes. Um, or you could look it up off the maps. There are maps in ASC 7. Or they've got this website, this ASC 7 ha online hazard tool, which is a free tool that is available to, um, available to anybody. You go in and enter your location and enter, tell it whether you're looking for wind loads, and then it'll tell you the wind speed for that location based on the inputs you make. Okay, so that's one option of getting it. Um, the, there are times when you have a wind speed, let's say you had an old design that was designed to 705, which used a different wind load basis than we use in 710 and later. In 705, it was service level winds. In ASC 710 and later, it was ultimate winds. So the wind speed basis changed. So let's say you know that it was a, a, an old 90 mile per hour design in 705, and you want to know what it is in 722 category 3. And this would tell you that's going to be approximately 121, 22 miles per hour. Um, most people don't know this is here and probably don't use it, but it is a tool that's available to kind of give you a simplistic conversion from one speed to another. Okay, so we're going to go with 150 on this one. I should also mention that based the category that we select will dictate the and, and ASC 710, 716, 722, everything after um, everything 710 and later the wind speed is based on the category. So if you have a category two, you may be using, I'm making these numbers up, but you may be using 140 miles per hour. Whereas the category three, the map may tell you that's 150 miles per hour. So the category is baked into the wind velocity that you enter here. And I mention that because down here, when you select the category, it's it's you want to select the right category because it's going to show up in your report but it doesn't change any calculations that was already decided with the velocity and the velocity is what's going to change your calculation not this won't have any impact on the final numbers unless you're dealing with ASC 705 which not many people use anymore but in 705 it did change the importance factor which is no longer something we use but it would change an importance factor and then that would affect the final results. But in 710 and later, the category is only there for information. And then we have the exposure. Um, you can pick the exposure based on the picture, or if you want to hover over those different options, you'll get a more detailed uh, definition of what's considered urban, uh, what's considered open country. Then we're going to select the building type. Uh, it's actually structure type, so it could be a bin, it could be a building, it could be any one of these things that would be considered other structure by ASC 7. Uh, you select that on this screen, and based on what you select there, it's going to change the tabs and things that display uh, down downstream of this, if you will. So for now, I'm going to leave it as building. And then this is an important one. If you want your pressures to be considered... Uh, ASD, a lot of people just compare what was my pressure in the old code, 705, versus the new code, 710 or later. Um, and so if you want to do that comparison, you need to change this to ASD. What it does is, uh, is it shows in this help dialog here, if it's 710 and later, it's going to multiply your load pressures by 0.6. It's not technically correct to do that because the way the code's written it uses a load factor and the load combinations 
we don't really have a load combination here. We're just considering wind. But so many people wanted to compare just wind pressure in the old to wind pressure in the new that we added this as an option and it multiplies that 0.6 so that you can compare apples to apples. If you don't want that, then you default it to L or FD and it'll, for a 710, 716, it'll, it'll uh, use the load factor of essentially one for those codes.